hello I'm back <laughs> well such as it is let me just sort my needle out uh, you might recognize this piece let's put that to one side and um <clears throat> ask if my spectacles are clean ha huh? well welcome back to the channel all 24 of you that said I should do a Flossmas. Here I am, complete with, um, excuse me, I should have put my hair up, shouldn't I? Uh, flashing golden reindeer earrings. And you can see my t-shirt afterwards. Oh dear, right, it's been a year. Well, technically it's been 11 months since the last one-ish. 49 weeks something like that so here we are let me get myself up comfortable flossmas yeah i wasn't going to do one and then i was going to do one and let me tell you about how that went see here that helps if you see the front doesn't it the gothic Christmas gothic short stories. So it's a uh, gothic fantasy. A company called Flame Tree. Beautiful set of books. My stepdaughter Liv bought this for Christmas. Not this year, last year I believe. And I haven't actually had a chance to read it yet. So I thought last night, I know I will record some stories and I'll do some Christmas stitch with me's to the sound of me reading a story that's Christmas related. First one I picked was, let me see if I can find the name of it again. Uh, Christmas Interrupted, it was called, I remember. Christmas Interrupted by Larry Hodges. Let's just say that in the current world climate, particularly with what's going on in the Middle East, I will not be reading any more from this book. <laughs> the story I chose in particular was not a happy tale. Let's just say. So we won't go reading that. Certainly not on this occasion. Um, yeah, so that was that idea. Parked. Um, and some of you have given me some very good suggestions about what to do for Flossmas this year, and we shall be doing them. I have got here, well, well, for a start, I might start a new sale. But I need to finish this one from last year. This is how far I got last year. In fact, I didn't even get this far last year. I got all of the, the, the motifs done. And then I did a little bit of this around the top and decided it was so boring, I stopped. But I really hate leaving things unfinished. So I've been gradually working my way through it. Now, that might not look like it's much to worry about, but let me bring you closer. You know, come here. Come here. Right. So you see each of those circles? That's split stitch. And the dots in between, that's seed stitch. Now I've got a wounded wing. Doesn't like holding little needles, so I do a little bit. Not very often. So we'll be working on that. I also have here a box of delights. Excuse my messy hair, just had a shower. There we go. Flashing my dear. This is mostly, if not completely, handmade ornaments. Not all of them have been handmade by me, but there's quite a few in there, and I'll we'll go through them and I'll put them on the tree. Maybe one a day. But more on that in a minute. So One of the questions I was asked 
No, it wasn't actually a question. I, I was asked. I asked a question and a suggestion was made. And forgive me for not writing down the names of everybody who made suggestions. But one of them was about how I prepare for Christmas. So one of the things I could talk about was how I prepare for Christmas. Not very well, it turns out. <laughs> today is not very well prepared. So today is more like a little intro to, to Flossmas kind of thing. What I do have is this. <sighs> what I do have is no spatial awareness. Smack myself in the eye with the book. That's clever, isn't it? Right, this is my... Oh, look, you can see the reflection of the ring light. <laughs> Squirrel. Right, so what I do have is this book. So it is just wrapping paper over a... You can only be in the vlogs if you wear a hat. You know that, don't you? I mean, I know I'm not wearing a hat, but I've got earrings and I'm not pissing your ears. To so go away, please. Please. Okay, maybe not. Right, so this is just a standard notebook that I have covered in Christmas paper. That was quite amusing in itself. The problems. Indeed. So why are you here? Are you happy with your wash? Right. <laughs> now you see him, now you don't. It's like, he's still there. Molly. Yeah, you. <laughs> he just disappears. This is the hazard of having a black cat and a black sofa. You don't know he's there till you've sat down. What you doing? Mm-hmm. Indeed. Well, okay. Do you know it's rude to put your back to people? It's a cheeky bugger. What? Says who? Okay, right. Where were we? Right. One notebook. And in my notebook every year, this has got absolutely nothing to do with stitching whatsoever. But I am <laughs> I am a woman of a certain age, shall we say. And I never used to do this. I started this book. Which year? 2020? Yes, 2020. So this is my third year of having it. Um, and in it I write... Let's see. I write who I've sent cards to. Um, the presents that I've purchased for people. I'm not going to show you all of it. Um, I've put, I put in what we had for Christmas Day dinner. So 2020 we had venison in red wine. Funny that, we've got venison again this year. Goose fat roasties, roasted parsnips, carrots, cauliflowers, Brussels sprouts and peas for me. Pigs in blankets. Do you all have pigs in blankets in the States or in Canada or in Australia? Or is it just a weird British thing where we wrap little tiny sausages in mashes of bacon and cook them in the oven and then serve them with Christmas dinner? Uh, homemade gravy, stuffing. Christmas pudding, double cream and Courvoisier brandy butter. Anyway, I digress. Mm -hmm. So that's Christmas food. And then I put in who we had cards from. Now, the reason I do this is it's nice to have a bit of a record about what you actually ate. Um, I must add to this list what colour we put on our Christmas tree as well, because we just had a debate about that today. Um... But I can't remember what I've bought presents, what presents I've bought for people. So, what are you doing? Just go, go and sit on your cushion. Go on. Go on. Off you go. Yes, go on. Off you go. Right. I wouldn't remember what I've bought for people. So now I actually have to write it down so that I don't forget. But I also put lots of like nice washi tape and funky stickers. Got a good collection of stickers in here, and so I have started to prep for this year. So, though I haven't actually written anything in yet, I have a blank page ready for 2023 and loads of stickers. 
because why not make it pretty so there you go in terms of other prep i have the same as anyone else we write cards and post them we wrap parcels and send them sometimes parcels might take a year or two to be sent apologies to the three of you who know who you are let's just say hope they get there by christmas this year um and the house needs to be completely cleaned and then the decorations go up now brom is currently away again um because that's what he does monday to friday or monday to saturday he'll be back sunday morning so sunday is going to be spent decorating so for now you just have to put up with me and my flashing earrings and any jumpers or t-shirts that i can find because everything is in the attic right so i do have a couple of advent calendars this year i don't have the funky one that i had last year because I decided not to do it every year it is quite pricey to do and i was really slack again and didn't order any of the posh ones but what i do have is my hubby knows me so well he did get me the galaxy advent calendar and how handy number one is quite high up because you know if you just know i'm gonna it's a christmas tree probably wasn't a good idea bear with also say joining me on the sofa tonight is monkey monkey he's from um he was a pg tips adverts that we had a few years ago and you could get a free monkey mine somehow or other i've managed to get has actually got antlers he's wearing his christmas jumper so i think you can be an honored guest and sit up there please don't fall off right there we go now, I do have something stitching related. When I just misplaced the scissors, the scissors. The lovely Karen, who is the um, proprietor, that's the word I'm looking for, the proprietor of Textured Treasures, sent me an advent calendar this year. Now, it's not one of the big ones that she was doing, but she did have some others that she had picked up for sale. And so she sent it to me and i was most surprised i was not expecting it so thank you very much karen um and i haven't even opened it yet i'm such a, such a good girl me so but we do have scissors Let's see if i can get this open talk amongst yourselves Now, from what I understand, this is a stitching relating. Mmm, shouldn't have had that chocolate. This is a stitching related or sewing related advent calendar. Crinkly paper. It's not paper at all, is it? It's plastic. Right, it says on it, unique advent calendar. Let it sew, let it sew, let it sew. Uh huh. Nice box with a gold ribbon, and we will open this. I haven't seen inside this at all, so this could be disastrous. Oh, look at that! All these little boxes. Wow. Now, if you've purchased one of these, you might want to actually switch off, look away, go and open yours and then come back. Well, that's unusual. Or well, they're actually, they've made life really easy, look. So it's boxes 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 22, 23, 24. Do you know what? This is such a good box. I'm going to save it to use again so let's make sure we do this carefully 
box number. How bizarre! Box number one's the biggest. It's got a pair of scissors. Well, I wonder if they're any good. That is. It's good quality cardboard as well. How much fun is this? A pair of scissors. I have to admit. Oh, now the dogs are kicking off. I have to admit, the scissors that I use for needlework are probably a little past their best, shall we say. Ooh, got a plastic cover. Now, hmm, what can I snip? I don't really want to use paper. Ah. Lord knows I've got enough of DMC 310 sat here I've got a cone of doom on my trolley so how about we cut a length because then let's say that much satisfying snip so there you go advent gift number one is a pair of scissors and i've snipped something so i don't snip the friendship did you know that? If you give anybody a gift of a pair of scissors, I could have done the ribbon actually. A pair of scissors or a knife. You should give them also, you should also give them something to cut so it doesn't cut the friendship. Is that just a old wives' tale in Britain? Or please drop your thoughts down below. Um so I think really that's it for tonight. And I think the fact that I've managed to stretch it out to 18 minutes, I've done not bad. It's mostly waffled. There's not a lot of stitching at this precise moment. But that said, I've just shown you that I am still trying to finish that, Sal. I've also got to finish Calories Don't Count at Christmas. And I have a Mill Hill beaded warble upstairs. So there may be a couple of stitch with me. There may be a couple of stories. I will dig out the poems. I can't do the same as last year. There aren't that many jokes that are good. There aren't even that many jokes that are bad. And I don't really want to repeat last year's. I might just as well upload last year's videos at that rate. Um, so come back tomorrow. I may be better prepared. Um, there will be giveaways. Once I've decided what I'm giving away. And um, I might even design a pattern or two as freebies. So... With that said, um, the usual, I hope you stay happy, healthy, wise and well. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, ring the bell. I will see you tomorrow. Bye. Nearly forgot to show you the t-shirt. Hang on. Let me get a bit up, upright, a bit more upright. It's a sinky sofa. Let's see if I can hold it up better. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> An all terrain armored transport from Star Wars, and on the side, if you can read that, Merry Sithmas. <laughs> See you tomorrow. <laughs>